What is up, my people? What do? Bring you guys another video, and this time we're gonna be talking about ledge guarding. All right? This is like a a school, a camp. I'm be teaching you damn kids how to properly whip ass. All right? I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty hyped today. I don't know why, but I guess I had too much sugar or something. But anyway, yeah, we 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 gonna get right into this right here. We just gonna get straight to the point. All right? So, ledge guarding. What, what the heck is ledge guarding? That's some shit you probably made up? Maybe. I mean, I don't know if other people say ledge guarding. But basically what it is, is, um, god damn, yo, the sugar's hitting my head. And anyway, basically what it is, your opponent's on the ledge, and you're covering all the options for them to get back onto the stage. And if they do get back onto the stage, I still call it ledge guarding, but um, in certain cases, I call it playing babysitter or the gatekeeper. Babysitter, basically you're keeping your opponent in the corner and you making sure that they don't get the hell out that corner, all right? Because this is your part-time job, you got kids to feed, you got to put sneakers on them feet, man. So fuck that, yo. You, you make sure that that kid, if he acting up, you keep him in the corner. Make sure you discipline him right. So that when parents come home, they give you that 20 bucks to buy them pay their shoes to put on them kids' feet. Look, don't judge my freaking life. Anyway. So, we, we, we're gonna get into it right now, right? So, yeah, um, babysitter, and I also call it gatekeeper, which basically you make sure that they don't get onto the, you know, the past the gate, get back onto the stage, because we don't like their kind around here. All right, anyway, so yeah, let, let's get right to it. So, what you need to know first is the options. The options that people have when they're on the ledge, and the options are as follows. Yo, bitch, move, man, like I want. Damn, all up in my space. Anyway, so here we go. That, get up attack. Wait, that wasn't even get up attack. Regular get up, I'm turning, you guys. That sugar, it, it's hitting me. It's hitting me right now. It, I'm <clears throat> Regular get up. Get up attack. Jump. Roll. And in certain cases, attack onto the stage, right? So let's talk about this first. Get up attack. What a lot of people don't know, especially if you're new to Smash, is that when you do a get up attack, there is a few frames towards the end of your animation before you can do something that you are open. I think it might be two to three, right? So there's a small window that you can punish before your opponent is able to do something once they get on the stage. Now, if some of you guys have watched some of my recent videos or watch me play on stream when I stream. Uh, you see me do this. You see me do this a lot. And sometimes I'll do it here too. We're gonna explain the second part in a minute. But the first part, me doing it here. If I feel I know when the opponent's gonna get up, like they're just gonna do a regular get up, I will do this. And that will catch him out of it. So, if you ever get punished for getting up like this and then holding block as you get up, and you're like, yo, I was holding block as soon as I got up, and he freaking hit me, that's bull. Yo, this game is broken. Nah, that's not what happened. What happened was your opponent caught you in them two to three frames that, that you were open on get up. He timed his attack right. That's why you got clapped, all right? That's why you got, you got clapped with an attack. By the way, I'm not a rapper, and and you and you mad, and you you blaming you blaming soccer right for for it. No, that that that's not what happened. Okay, it's not what happened. So yeah, so that's why you see me do this. All right, you could do bear, but the nair is the hitbox of the nair is out for a while. Okay, so basically you have more time. If you're good at the timing and you feel confident, then yeah. You can do bear and you can catch it, especially if they're at kill percent because the butt um kill kill faster than these hands. But um yeah. Now if you see me do it like this, that is to catch the rolling option, and I will sh just give you a visual idea of what it looks like. Um, I have to slow it down because this is me by myself, and I'm using two controllers. It's a bit difficult for me to like switch back and forth and do something technical. So, uh, 
put Sheik on the ledge. Roll onto the stage. Yeah, like that. It will look like that. Okay. So, boom. We're, we already covered two options with one attack. One attack, we already covered two options. Okay. So, from the... Bitch, move, man. I'm doing a tutorial. The, damn. Uh, anyway. Yeah, go to sleep. Don't wake up. Anyway, so... Yeah, right, right here, if the opponent is going to get up like that, you can do that. If you're thinking of roll, you can do that. Now, if you want to make it tricky, you can move, which you should be doing. Like, when you let guard somebody, don't just be still. Sometimes, I am still for, like, a moment because I like to mess with people's heads. So, I stand still like this and make them think that I'm vulnerable. Like, I'm just waiting for... I don't know, for them to do like a get up attack or something. Or I make it seem like it's safe to push a button to do something. And then at the last minute, I'll move or I catch them doing something very panicky, panic like, and then I punish them for it. So, and then I'll either, you know, come in like this or stand here, make it look like it's free, and then try to roll behind me because I think I'm gonna swing, and then they roll behind me, and then now I'm the one that's in the freaking corner. When I'm the babysitter, and fuck that, you get him back in the corner and put him right back in there. But anyway, yeah, so I'll move, and if I think they're gonna roll out of fear, I'll go back here. I'll do something like this. Like, I'll, I'll actually throw out the nair on purpose early. I'll throw it out early on purpose, and then once they see this, they're like, okay, it's free, it's free for me to do something. And then they'll probably do a get up attack, and then I'll move out the way, and then I come through. Or they try to roll behind me after they see me do this, and then I'll be like, Casserole. Alright. So boom. We cover we already covered two options. Now the other one, what was it? Jumping, right? Yes. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Having a turn up in your hand is, is good. But you can do this with, without it. But if they're gonna jump, what you can do. You can jump Z drop, right? The Z drop will catch them out they jump. And it also covers the um the get up attack because you're avoided and when you do the get up attack turn it will hit them the best thing about it is if they're invincible if the turn up hits them while they're invincible because they're doing the get up attack it'll hit them I mean uh, they'll eat it like they won't get hurt but once the get up attack is over you're over their heads they're open now and then you can dare them and just get them off the stage. So the turn up is insurance, okay? If the turn up hits, you're fine. You can do Z drop to a dare. If it doesn't hit them because they absorb the hit due to the invincibility frame that they have when they do a get up attack, um, it's fine because you can still hit them. Either way, the dare is gonna connect. Whether the turn up hits them or not, the dare is gonna connect, all right? The, the turn up is just there to back you up. It, it, it got you. All right, it got you. I don't know what was that on um, that freaking ad that goes on YouTube that um the dude be like, are you in good hands? Some shit like that. I don't. Know. Somebody comes, let me know. I I forget. I I saw that shit like yeah yesterday. But anyway, yeah, you you definitely in good hands because this turn got your back. All right, and then when it wants to be lazy, and don't got your back. Be like, you know what, man? I hit the opponent, but you got this, bitch. You you got it, girl. Go get him. And there you go. Okay. So you 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 good, you you good. So you you cover those options, and then without turn up, uh, literally just go over them, okay? You can just go over them and whatnot. Uh, but just be careful because at times, if you do it at the wrong time and they time their stuff right, they could probably jump off the ledge and then hit you. So again, it's all about timing. But either way, you. It's basically low risk, high reward for you. Okay, low risk, high reward for you. Um, so here it is that, and the other option was then attacking. Now that's what goes back to moving. Act like you're gonna do something, and then move out the way. If they come in swinging, just move, and then you can come in like this, or get a grab depending on what the attack is. Okay. So there's that. 
Now, let's say you guess wrong, but you're, you're keeping the pressure because, you know, you're, you're staying close. And they get onto the ledge. They get back onto the stage. This is where you play babysitter, babysitter slash gatekeeper. You know, whatever you want. This is, this is what you do. All right? So, they're here. You have the advantage. And I think I discussed this in one of my previous videos. Um, but, yeah, they're in the corner now. So basically, whether you have a turn up in your hand or not, just keep moving. Your opponent, they have little room for error because if they swing, they don't have enough space to fall back, you know, because they're in the corner. So they swing and you keep close range. You're, you're in a perfect position to punish them because they can't move back anymore. The only thing they could do is if they swing or looking for opening and then try to counter you for whatever you're doing, or they think you're open and you're not because you're baiting them, you're, you're messing with their head and get a punish. They're gonna swing in a stationary position, like they'll probably throw an attack out in place, or they come at you swinging with an air attack, a dash attack, or grab, okay? So this is where knowing the distance of your character's hitbox is important, so you know where to stand. So that way you don't have to block, because the moment you block, that's it. Your options are limited. So have good knowledge of the hitbox of your um, opponent. So there's no need to block, you just dance around that space. So she goes to come at me dash attacking, and I see it from right here. Move out the way, and then go in with punish, okay? So this is playing babysitter. Right, you, you you don't you don't let that kid out the freaking corner. We we went through this already. You don't let him out the corner, or you playing the gatekeeper. You don't you you don't let him in to to your town or whatever, cause you don't like they kind around here. Right, we, we we don't appreciate um ninjas. Not even a real freaking ninja. You fake ninjas are supposed to be stealthy and shit. And you right here, I can see you. I can see you. Okay, you know what? Let me con. I, I really not, really not need to be drinking um, soda before doing these type of unscripted videos. Cause um, I get. I right, so yeah. So they go, and then when they're at high percent, you know they they tend to panic. Like if they're at numbers such as this. Uh. Say this, these numbers, you know, they're um, something like this or whatever, whatever. And you know, you steam and you steaming hot. Oh, hold on, wait, not me, not me. Hold on, this is supposed to be for the opponent. Oh snap, I'm bugging. But yeah, they, not gonna lie though, Daisy is um, Daisy is pretty hot though. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, she hot. I'm glad she in this game, yo. Like, damn, yo, me, me and Daisy, I'm telling you, we, we be on some stuff. Like, yo, tonight, yo, you and me, right, Daisy? We, we, we gonna, we gonna do some stuff. Like, right? Yeah, you hype, right? Yo, I'm hype, too, man. Like, damn, yo, we gonna get a hotel room. We gonna be doing some stuff. Yeah, she winking like, you hype for that, right? Like, yeah, you know you want this, yo. I'm gonna tear that ass up, right? I'm gonna tear it up. I'm gonna tear it up. Yeah, yo, I'm gonna tear it up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot freaking corn shit. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So basically, not much to say. It's freaking simple. At these type of percents, if you're pointing in the corner, um, and they're bleeding, whatever, again, they they can't make no freaking errors. Okay, that's it, man. Whatever it is, you cover options. It's, um, if they want to jump, put a rainbow in their ass, or hit them with a crown. Uh, you cover the uh neutral getter from the tax with there. Hit them. Hit them with them, them payless shoes you got on and stuff. And um, if they try to get up in a certain way and you time it right, you know, just just hit them. That's it. Make sure they don't get back onto the stage. Playing gatekeeper, they got to pay that toll. Make your opponent pay that toll if they want to get back onto the stage. Because that's the only way they're going to freaking touch this stage if they pay that toll. And how they got to pay that toll? They got to pay that toll with their life. Because the only way they get back onto this stage is through a freaking revival platform. That revival platform that freaking comes down when you lose stock, that's the only way. You gotta pay with your life. You ready to pay with your life? Then kiss my ass, bitch. Kia! 
There you go, they're back on stage. And then you just proceed to get them on stage with everything that we discussed and then the past videos leading up to now. And um, there you go. That's how you left, girl, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have fun with that. There, simple video. Woo! Mm! Knocking it out the park, baby. So, yeah, um, I don't think I missed anything else. Just less guarding is basically all the stuff that I said here. Mix and match what you do, you know, movement, fake people out. Just, just get in someone's head. Act like you're going to do something. Give them a false sense of security. God damn, that's a good word. That's a good freaking description. Mm. False sense of security. And then just take advantage of it. Right. Take advantage of it. Just remember that people can, um, damn, what's my controller? I just had it. Uh, dude, what the? Okay. Um, people can delay the timings, like they could stay here for a while and then get back up. Just remember that. If you think somebody is going to be on the ledge for a while, you do have the option of doing this. Hit them off the ledge, right? And another tidbit, a lot of people don't know about this. Um, this is mainly a Smash 4 thing and it's still in this game. The more damage that you have, the less invincibility frames you have on the ledge. So, just making an example, right? Let's say at 0 to 100, when you grab the ledge, you can hold it for 2 seconds. If you're like at 120 or 130, you can hold the ledge for like a second and a half before your invincibility runs out. So basically, the more damage you have starting around 100, I believe, um, the less invincibility frames you have on the ledge. So if you know somebody that is like around my percent and they tend to stall, literally wait a bit and then just just go just hit them because they're gonna be used to the timing of how long they can hang on the ledge when they're like at zero percent all right so that little tidbit can go a long way so you can hit them off the ledge that way so but yeah just remember people can um delay the timing they can get up quickly as soon as they grab the ledge they can delay it a bit and then grab the ledge Again, it's all about adaptation, all right? All this stuff here, I'm not saying that you just go in and just do it. It's all based on adaptation, how you see your opponent react, and the best way to figure out what your opponent is going to do is sometimes don't even go for less guarding. Um, just play babysitter slash gatekeeper, okay? Just do that. Act like you're going to do something and then pull away, see what your opponent does. And whatever they do, they're basically telling you, if you used to go in and try to hit them off the ledge, this is what they were going to do. And you keep that in mind, so next time that situation happens, you know the most educated thing to do. Okay? I call it an educated guess because you can't read your mind. You um, can't read your mind. Of course you can read your mind. See, this is why I can't, I can't drink the soda. Like, this shit is the freaking Sprite is fucking up my life. Anyway. This is why I call it educated guess because you can't read your opponent's mind. You have no idea what they're thinking. But based on their actions that they do when they thought you was going to go for something, you know, do an aggressive action, keep that in your mind. Like, he thought I was going to do this. So most likely, I'm going to do this option because this option covers um, the most common thing that I see him do in that situation. And even if you guess wrong, and neutral resets or you get hit it's totally fine because you didn't do something and you were like oh i'm just gonna do it just do it you know no thought pattern no strategy no process no nothing like i'm just do this and i just hope that the opponent messes up i hope that god is sitting on my shoulders or i guess in this case you're hoping that i'm sitting on your shoulders because apparently now i'm the jesus of peach and daisy and um and so you're hoping that I am sitting on your shoulders and when you do something, I'm it, it's just going to connect, all right? Like, no thought process. Don't just swing whenever you want and I'm going to make it happen. Like, 
No, it, it don't don't work that way. All right, if you do something, it has to be for a reason, a good reason. All right, don't just swing him and just be like, well, I just hope. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm feeling lazy right now. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, school is tough and whatnot. I just went broke because of Christmas. And I'm just trying to chill and play a video game. And now I got to do all this technical shit. Like, nah, man, after I'm going to just swing and just hope that this shit works, man. And, you know, there we go. We're going to move on. Nah. All right? Nah, don't, don't do that. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, this was helpful. If it wasn't, uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not trying. But if it was, yeah, you're right, Daisy. Mm. I'm still gonna hit that. Yeah. Oh, she gonna let me hit that shit tonight. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, but anyway, um, thanks for those that watched. Thanks for all the subscribers that I got through my new series of videos, as well as my veteran subscribers. Um, sharing the video, liking, supporting the channel, all that, man. All you guys together are freaking savages. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces! Hey, you did the wrong one. Yeah. There you go. I'm still gonna hit that, right? Yeah. <laughs>